Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a viewer's question today. It's from CD. CD says, Is it true that it's best to protect your energy from others? What I mean is not telling anyone much about your life, not posting too many pictures of your specific person with yourself, your new car, your new house, your new job, your manifestations, any sort of stuff of relationships that's best not to show too much to the world to protect the energy from negative vibes of others like jealousy, hatred and upset. Okay, good question. I'm going to break this down step by step. So first you've said, is it true that it's best to protect your energy from others? Well, you've got to look at the whole framework of that question. Protecting yourself from the energy of others. The thing is, remember that people are you pushed out. Okay, so whatever you're attracting from others, is there some belief in you that supports that kind of energy coming to you? So yes, if you believe that that's can happen then you're going to need to try and protect yourself but why not make it simpler for yourself and just not have that whole belief system that as you learn to share and be obviously choose who you share this stuff with you're not going to run in the street and share it with everyone but that you choose when it's the right time and the right place to share it with people especially other people that are trying to manifest those things so that you are an inspiration to them. If you see that you inspire people and you believe that you inspire people, then you are less likely to attract people that you need to protect yourself from, you see. So the other thing is that you've said about not posting too many pictures of your specific person with yourself, your new car, your new job, your new house, any sort of stuff. Well, I think you can, you know, you don't want to stand on your soapbox and say, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. Because I do think sometimes when people go on social media and do that consistently, it's needing attention, okay? And it's about needing adulation, needing approval, needed reassurance that you're good enough or something of the like, okay? So perhaps ask yourself if you're doing that, why am I doing it, okay? There are many people on social media, as we know, that overpost, and there are some that you don't see very often. Now, I think, you know, not as a general rule, people that are really enjoying and having manifestations and really living their lives, you don't see them as often because they're actually out there manifesting, doing it, enjoying it, riding the wave, you see. So... It's, I think it's okay to show a little bit so that you do connect with people that want to get inspired by manifesting the thing that you've may, been able to manifest. But to be standing on your soapbox waving your banner all the time, perhaps not. So, but yeah, that whole thing of having to protect yourself from the energy of negative vibes of others, that in itself is what you're projecting and then you are going to have to do that. You are going to have to protect yourself from jealousy, hatred, upset, you know. But if you're not in that line of thinking, you're not even in that frame of mind, then if you're just sharing a little bit here and there and then you're enjoying and riding the wave and people see around you what you're doing, whew, that can be really uplifting for people. So, yeah, so CD, that's my thoughts on that. A uh, good question because I do think... You know, it does happen, but adjust and correct. Remember Ho'oponopono, as I've been sharing about in the last couple of weeks, it's dissolving the part of you that creates the external, okay? So coming back to that again and again and again, all right? I'm going to put the Ho'oponopono playlist down below for those of you that want to work on that part of things. Okay, lots of love, everyone.